What's up, YouTube? I'm not in the salon. I'm going to Melbourne, and you're going to come along for the journey. Two to three days of hairdressing with Adam outside. No mirrors, no scissors. I guess it's a weekend away with Adam in Melbourne. These things are tough. They look glamorous and things can happen that actually create challenges you cannot foresee. 2.30 in the morning, the fire alarm goes off in the hotel. It was the worst night it could happen, because guess what? We got a 5 a.m. call time. So we're up early and we're off to the meat market in Melbourne. We have a 6 a.m. call time. Um, we have to be there for rehearsal very early. I was having a debate with myself, which often happens. They're the best conversation sometimes. Like the two separate parts of my brain going at it. It's like, I think you should do this. Well, I want to do this. Well, if you do that and that happens, what are you going to do about that? Well, then I'll just do this. Sleep is a liability in my life. I'm sitting in the cab with my colleagues. I'm getting roasted about <laughs> not evacuating because uh, when the alarm went off last night, I get a phone call from Kobe. Cha-cha, where are you? I go, I'm in bed. And he goes, can't you hear the fire alarm going off? I go, of course I can hear it, it's, it's loud. He goes, are you coming downstairs? I'm like, hell no, I ain't leaving. I ain't going nowhere, I'm staying in bed. I knew there was no fire. We arrive at the meat market in Melbourne and again, because of uh, two years of not seeing many people, uh, we run into some people that we hadn't seen for a while. Some people who are very close to me in the Manor family, um, they're putting on this event for us, uh, main stage. Uh, it was great to see them, it'd been a while. And we're just waiting on the models to arrive. Once they arrive, it'll be straight into rehearsal. But before any of that, I'm going looking for a coffee, or two, or three, or four. So we are here in Melbourne, Australia at the meat market, and you can see it's a little bit cold and rainy. But it's gonna get real hot in there today. Um, we're gonna to do a great show, so uh, really looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've got to do a face-to-face -face, uh, with the team. Last time was Spain in 2019, so I'm super excited today, so I'm gonna get inside there and get prepped. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy what you see later. The stage is set for a great day. It's buzzing in there. And although I was tired, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't sleep much anyway. If I get four or five hours a night, I'm sweet. But last night, I got hardly any. But when you go in that room, the energy that's in there, you forgot how tired you are. Um, it's just so uplifting, the adrenaline starts going, and straight away, you're focused. You can see makeup artists in there, there's other artists from other brands preparing. Um, it's just a hive of excitement, and just creativity flowing around the room. It's, it's something that, you know, these shows and presentations were something that I was very daunted by for a long, long time, and it's now something I crave. Rehearsals are well and truly underway, and as I said before, it's a very, very important part. We need to know timing, where we need to be. Our show wasn't just walk out, stand there, cut hair, see you later. We wanted to um, utilise the space. It was a big, wide open space. When there's just four of us out there, there's a big void. I think there were cameras everywhere, but during the show, we actually moved positions. So we need to make sure the timing of all that was right, because if you want to put on a great show, and we call it at Matrix edutainment, something unorganised can't really be that entertaining. Rehearsal's done, and now it's time to make the final preparations on my model, smoothing the hair out, making sure that it's all in place, ready for me to cut. Well, it's time to start prepping some hair, so we'll get stuck into that. And once that is all done, it's time for us to get in the right mindset, I go through my mind, I have this process that I go through, I peg steps in my mind, so when I go out, one, two, three, four, five, I'm done. And the reason why I do that is because, as I've already mentioned, things can go wrong out there, we're human. What that allows me to do is, at any point, if I lose my way, and it, believe me, it happens, you know, when you're talking and engaging in a crowd, you're doing very detailed work, the lighting and the visibility is challenging, and things can happen. So I find these processes in my mind really help me execute well. Um, now that I'm going through this process, uh, it's time for me to relax and just chill out. Now the um, guests are starting to arrive and the first of many shows for the main stage event is about to start.
And now, it's showtime. Now we're going through the final preparations uh, before we go into the show. We're mic'd up, I got changed. I like to wear certain things when I'm prepping. Obviously you get dirty and then fresh set of clothes for when I go out. And then it's time to do what I've come here to do, and that's do some great hair. Team leader is Kobe. I um, have already spoken about Kobe and introduced you guys to him, but I haven't had the opportunity to introduce you to Sam and Matt, two of my other amazing colleagues. There are other artists that weren't available to be in the show today. To get back on stage with these guys uh, and do some work together uh, was such a buzz, such, such a buzz. And, and um, I hope that we can do many, many more in the future. Even with all the rehearsals we did, Sometimes we still get a little bit confused and Kelly is there to save the day. I thought one thing and I was I was so adamant that I knew what I was talking about and in the end I didn't have a clue. Look, it comes down to making sure that we do what we're there to do, focus on the hair and you got people like Kelly that make sure that she knows exactly what we're meant to do outside of that. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I gave everyone a bum steer and made everyone really confused. <laughs> sorry guys. I think the show was a success. Actually, I know it was because the crowd said so. I have to be honest, I felt a bit rusty out there. The last time I did a live event was back in Spain in 2019 for Matrix. It was a little bit bigger. There was probably a few thousand people at that one because it was an international conference. I think the hair I did was, was good. I liked it. Um, I thought it pushed boundaries. It had some education. It had some entertainment value. Um, but my favorite part of the show was to have my beautiful wife and daughter there. Michelle's seen me do this sort of stuff before, but Ada hasn't, and um, yeah, that was a really special moment for me. So it was a great show, it was great to have them there. It's great to be back on stage. It's great to be face to face with some of my colleagues and some of the other industry uh, people who were in the crowd in attendance, some of which actually inspired me to actually take this path. So it actually means a lot to have amazing hairdressers in the crowd um, watching us do what we love to do. And um, I'm looking forward to doing the next one. That is a wrap. It's time to go and uh, get some much needed sleep. Peace. The show's done, work for me is over. And I got to actually go to the Australian Hair Fashion Awards, which is an incredible event that celebrates the Australian hairdressing industry with Matt, Kobe and Sam. We had a lot of fun. I want to dedicate this win to my creative director because uh, they everything for me. So we're on our way to the AHFAs. Um, oh, yeah! <laughs> with Matthew in his get up. <laughs> Like I'm gonna get up on you wins, in a minute. He wins best dressed. Kobe's up for Australian hairdresser of the year. Well, it's the night of nights for Australian hairdressing. It's the AHFAs with Adam Chacha, Kobe Block. Team Matrix is in the house. We are coming for you right now. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Hey, used to be here as well, well, no? Down the wall. The 
Australian Hair Fashion Awards is an incredible event that celebrates the creative industry in Australia that is hairdressing. It is one of the premier events in the country. They always put on an amazing show. It was really exciting to be there this time in support of the Matrix Education Team. They were nominated for Education Team of the Year, um, which was very exciting. They're being recognised for the hard work that they do, not just with artists like us, but to all the salons on the ground, all those salon owners and hairdressers that are rebooting after being in some very difficult business circumstances. Congratulations Matrix Australia, well deserved win. You guys are incredible, an amazing education team. Um, I'm not surprised you won, you're very deserving of it. It's well overdue, celebrate the night, enjoy it.